Okay, so I think I'm going to do something with this bag. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a Louis Vuitton bucket bag and it needs a lot of work. So I like to repurpose um, old vintage bags. This needs work, it needs work. So on this, what I think I'm gonna do, and if you look at the, the ends here too, oh, look at that, that needs to be cut down. I'm gonna show you, listen, this is all trial and error for me. <laughs> So hopefully you can learn something from this and then take what you learned or portions of what you learned and use it for yourself on your bags on trying to repurpose them or just to create something new. So I think for this one, I'm gonna take this off and I'm not cutting it because of this, as you see here, I can undo it and just slide it right off. Same thing with this side, adjustable. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna to need to take that off anyway to do what I wanna to do to this bag. So what I think I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna clean it. And I'm not gonna show you how I clean it because I have other videos on how to clean the canvas. Please check out my channel if you wanna see how to do that, the before and afters. I also have, um, videos on how to um, paint the leather and clean the vaquetta. Please look at my channel, see for that. Okay, I bought this from Etsy for a dollar. Look at that. So I see that's a lipstick and it says Louis Vuitton. And it's the kind where you can actually put on your any of your Louis Vuitton bags. So I'm gonna try to make this this vintage looking bag into something new and improved and see what happens. I do like to create, uh, repurpose, upcycle my bags if they're vintage. Most of my stuff I get is pre-loved and I either do sell them here online through YouTube or I show you how to create something new from an old bag, just like this one. Please join me on the, this video. And if you find any value after watching it, hit the subscribe button and share the video. I appreciate it. Okay, so I got a little tiny sponge. I'm going to, now that this is dry, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a deglazer. This is a Angelus leather preparer and deglazer. So that way, when I put the paint on, it's gonna stay on. So we're gonna do that next. And, and then I'm gonna fix all these up but the color I decided is the acrylic, Angelus acrylic leather paint and the brown. This is a pretty dark brown to cover all the imperfections. I know this is brown, but with this darker brown, with this darker brown on here, it's gonna cover up a lot more as well. And this will come out more with the brown. I think that will be really nice once this is on it'll stand out, the pink will stand out from this dark brown. So I'm gonna use this, I have a couple of them. What I did is, this is just an actual sponge that you buy from the store. I cut up in pieces so I can use it. So I don't use the hard side, I use the soft side. I'm gonna put it on. If I had something smaller, of course I would use one of my brushes or a cloth. 
But this one, I'm actually gonna use the sponge. Okay, next, I did finish, I may have to do another coat, but I did finish painting the bottom. And we're gonna move on to this cute little iron-on, it says Louis Vuitton with a lipstick. I got that on Etsy for a dollar, and um, it's an iron-on for the canvas, and I thought I'd put that right there and so we're going to show you how that's done. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I have, this is a clip just to hold it up. There's a book in here. So that way, when I put it on, I put it up against something hard. Then I have a thin towel. So when I put the iron, which is right here, on it, not directly on the canvas. Okay, so I found the position. It's easier to do it upside down like that. I'm going to put right there. And then I'm gonna get the iron. And I don't have the iron at completely hot. I have it somewhere in the middle. I'm always trying to do new things to my bags that I feel needs to be repurposed. I get them for a better deal and then I just make my own design to it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to try and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over now. And voila, there it is. Read a little closer for you. Look at that. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so there so far, we got the little Louis Vuitton cute little iron on. Up above, I'm still gonna to take the grommets off and I'm gonna Fold that in and put a leather trim right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I still have to put a finisher on the brown leather paint at the bottom, but it's coming along. Love, love, love that iron on. Okay, and then I have, this is the old strap. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna use a deglazer because I'm gonna paint over it. You could see Right there it says the Louis Vuitton made in France. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or just kind of sell it as is and put a new strap on. But I think I'm just gonna keep the old strap, clean it up and use some leather paint and put it back on the back. Okay, as you can see, I end up keeping the grommets on. I got a little tiny bow and put it through the holes there you can see the louis vuitton you can see it just looks so adorable the pink with the pink and the dark brown i love it i end up putting on this is my mannequin um i had a very dark chocolate which matched this perfectly as you can see here i actually had a strap and it attached just perfectly there and that was um, a Taguchi. <laughs> so I have a Gucci leather dark chocolate strap and I just ended up putting it on this. I thought it'd be much better overall when you look at it. 
and that's it. I hope you like it, and I think I might end up putting another bow later on, but this is what I had, and I just thought it would look a lot cuter that way than just taking the grommets off and putting a leather trim on it. So I still may put a leather trim in the future. Um, I just didn't have anything to do that. I wanted to complete this video and show you what you can do, just a little bit of imagination to make your bag better. As you can see, the before and after, huge difference in the bag. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. Um, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please share the video. And until next time, I will see you later.